The 2020 sugarcane harvest is off to a slow and rocky start, following a number of challenges faced by sugarcane harvesters yesterday. According to Operation Manager Michael Armstrong, 14 new tilting bins imported from Guatemala at a cost of 2.2 million were not ready in time for the crop's official February 24 start, resulting in a delay. He says the equipment was needed to improve operational efficiency. There's something to call a tilting bin, a tipping bin. We had to import some of them to go to the field with the hauling trucks. They're loaded there and then transported um, directly to the factory to be weighed and be stored for processing. And that, that, that caused a little bit of a slow start, but some of the farms did in fact have a chance to start yesterday the 24th when the crop officially started. In 2019, Barbados recorded the lowest rainfall in over five decades. However, Armstrong says the drought had no severe impact on the quality of canes. We had a better rainfall pattern um, for this crop than we had last year uh, for the 2019 crop. Um, what we would have, what we've been seeing is, a, is a, an improvement in the cane quality um, at that that period that could be coming to us this year for this crop and so that the effects of the, the 2019 drought didn't hit us as hard as um, it would have been for that crop. This year's crop is expected to surpass last year's harvest. The Portville operation manager says the harvest is projected to yield over 90,000 tons of sugar cane. For this year we expect to harvest 93,000 tons of cane that would be just three, uh, three to 4,000 tons higher than it would have been for uh, the 2019 crop. And that would have been attributed to some extent with a, a better rainfall pattern for the growing period um, from 2019 to now. And from that 93,000 93, tons of cane, we anticipate that we can recover uh, just under 9,000 tons of crystal sugar. This year's crop will last about 12 weeks, concluding in May. The Portville factory is presently the only operational sugar cane processing plant on the island. Aliyah Briggs, CBC News.